Are you ready to look your most stylish and sassy for summer? Good, then you're in the right spot because I'm gonna give you 25 must-haves, or what I like to call must-rocks, for summer. I love this time of year. So whether you are hanging out by the pool with the kids or you've got an exotic summer vacay planned, maybe attending a summer wedding, I'm going to give you 25 things that I can't live without. Now, this list could have been 45 things and I have edited it down to 25. So we don't have all day. Let's get started. Let's start at the top. Now we all have the fedora and it looks great year round, but this summer try a Panama hat. And a Panama hat is similar to a fedora, but it's got a little bit wider brim to protect your face. The second must rock item is the bendable floppy hat. If you are traveling, this goes in your suitcase. You can shove it in your beach bag and it doesn't lose its shape. It's brilliant. And the third item that you have to have every summer is a great summer scarf. Thin cotton or a lightweight cotton linen blend. And I recommend getting one that's at least, you know, two feet, close to two feet wide. And this is why. You can wear it four ways. You can do the headscarf look, you know, that I love. You can wear it as a scarf for those chilly summer nights if you're at the beach. And I also love these wider ones as a really quick sarong swimsuit cover up when you need it. And over your shoulders. How awesome, four ways, one scarf. Now moving on down, number four is a fun dangle earring. And you know I love the hoop and a hoop is something that I wear year round. It's my staple go-to, but in the summer, it's so much more fun to wear something with movement and color. And number five is one of my all-time favorite summertime pieces, and that is chunky, colorful necklaces or beads. You just throw them on with anything, even just a white tank top and shorts, and it just adds so much life and pizzazz to your outfit. This is actually my favorite thing to buy when I travel internationally. I love to get local jewelry. A lot of it's handmade. I got this in Africa and it's just beautiful, beautiful piece. And then when you wear it, it reminds you of your trip. To number six, bangles. Layer up just about anything in the summertime. It is the coolest look. And actually, like I was saying before with the necklaces, I love jewelry as souvenirs. And I got these silver bracelets on my very first trip to Mexico when I was 18. That was a very long time ago. But, uh, you know, and turquoise as well. Mix some turquoise in there. If you travel to Santa Fe, New Mexico, I uh, highly recommend picking up some local turquoise there. It's beautiful. Let's start talking about clothes. Okay, number seven is you've got to have crochet pieces during summer. It is so beautiful to mix with your swimsuit or with linen pants. And something like this you can even throw on in the evening at the beach. This is a swimsuit cover-up. Gorgeous, right? Eight is a no-brainer, but I had to add it, and that is flowy tank tops and beautiful colors. And I love when they hang a little bit longer and you can wear them loose or you can belt them up, tuck them in, but I love racer back. Just make sure you have a racer back bra and you can't go wrong. The ninth must rock is a denim chambray shirt. This looks great over tank top if it's getting chilly. It's a great alternative to a jean jacket and just make sure that you get one with the kind of old school Western snaps. They just look the coolest. We all have to have number 10, and that is a long maxi skirt. You wear it long like this, and I will be right back to show you another way to wear it. Voila, how cool, right? You can probably go into your closet right now, find a long skirt that has an elastic waistband, pull it up, belt it, you're good to go. And this is a great piece for traveling because you've got several options and one piece of clothing meaning less in your suitcase. My 11th must rock is a striped tube top. And I love these from H&M because they're actually lined with a little built-in bra in there. So they give you lift, which is great. It's just such a fresh look for summer. It looks great with white jeans and it's just very French. 
You instantly look chic in number 12, and that is a caftan style or tunic style swimsuit cover-up. And I'm loving these right now, they're everywhere, and that's a sheer leopard print. Looks so great with the black swimsuit. Or you can opt for something a little bit more bright and colorful. Either way, so, so chic. My number 13 must rock is a solid colored swimsuit. And if you're a bikini girl, I love these bandeau tops. This is from H&M and they sell them in separate so that, you know, if you're different size on top and bottom, you can buy them separately. And I love that they offer it like that. I love these because I'm not a fan of tan lines. And number 14 is a fun romper. You cannot go wrong with these. You just throw them on. It is the easiest thing, no brainer. You can wear it dressy or casual. And if you're not a short girl, I'm not really into shorts. I would go for one that is a little bit longer in a jumpsuit style. So cute for summer. Now number 15 is like the best invention ever and that is the maxi sundress. And this year it's all about the tribal prints. But the great thing about tribal prints is it's not trendy. It really never goes out. It looks great year after year after year. Just make sure to get one that's printed. Either floral or a tribal print. How cute are these? Great, great colors. This one has a splash of the neon, more casual, throw it on with flip flops, out by the pool, you are good to go and you look awesome. Hallelujah for number 16, bold floral prints. You've got to rock something that's a bigger, bigger floral print. You know, the last year or so it's been about the tiny little floral print, which I just wasn't a fan of. It's too dainty and girly for me. So this, this summer, it's all about bigger, bolder floral prints. And in fact, Hawaiian prints, which I love. So cute, so vibrant. The Tucker shirt dress, gotta have one. Love bold florals. As I mentioned earlier, I am not a shorts girl. So I love the Capri cargo pant. And sometimes the regular traditional cargos can look a little bit frumpy. So I really love these. They look really cute at night with the tube top and wedges. You can dress them up. And they're just, they're a great alternative to the short and they're a great alternative to the regular Capri. And another one of my favorite pieces for summer is the white jean. You cannot go wrong with a great pair of white jeans. And I tend to like the skinny jeans for summer. Some that are a little bit shorter with the zipper at the bottom. And this is just a no-brainer piece. We all know Juicy for their velour track pant, right? Well, they also make a great flowy linen pant. And I love these for pool parties because you can throw these on with your wedges or flip-flops and just rock it with your bikini top. And it's just a great alternative if you wanna get some sun on your arms and you don't wanna wear uh, the tunic swimsuit cover up. So love these, bright color, drop waist with the drawstring, can't go wrong. Okay, moving on down to more accessories. The wristlet, number 20. I just started using this this year. I usually have the crossbody bags. This, you keep all your necessities, your credit cards, your money, your lip gloss, your powder, your phone, those types of things. And I always feel safe. I walk a lot here in LA. <laughs> awesome, and you can just throw it in your big bag or your beach bag. Love it, gotta get a wristlet. 21 is a tribal print beachy bag. I love these. This is more uh, uh, kind of Indian fabric. Also love this. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but you've seen them. You can get them in Mexico. I don't know if this is a Navajo print, but I love this bag and it looks so cool. It is so durable and I don't know, it's a great carry-on. You can take it to the beach, take it to the pool anywhere. And the number 22 must rock really should be a staple in everybody's wardrobe and that is some killer brown leather belts. I have them in all shapes and sizes. As you can see, I have wide belts to wear up high around your waist. I have the kind that you can wear down on low on your hips and I have them in all different colors and they just, they just look great over most of your sundresses. Where we're almost done is a great nude patent wedge. You know I'm a fan of the wedge. Well, the nude pattern looks great with just about anything, makes your legs look long, and the pattern just gives it that little bit of a oomph, a little bit of shine to dress it up a bit. So no matter where you're going this summer, you could wear them to a summer wedding. Uh, they look great with just about everything. 
And you can talk about summer without talking about the flip-flop. So yes, number 24 is the flip-flop, but not a flat flip-flop. Ladies, I recommend flip-flops with a lift. I can't do anything flat because I'm flat-footed and it, it makes my back hurt. So this just makes your legs look better. Legs look better when you have a little bit of a lift. They don't have to be this high, but you've seen the flip-flops that have at least a one or two inch lift. They just look so much better on everybody's legs. Yay, we made it. Number 25 is a great pair of shades. Well, actually two pair. I love aviators for summertime because they don't slide off your nose as bad. They've got the little rubber stoppers. So if you're doing active summer sports or laying out, these are just great. And you still have to have a killer pair of oversized shades. And this year, like the other webisode I did, the colored shades are really big. And you know, sometimes when you're laying out in, the, in these, you just feel like a hot mess right here, sweaty, stuff like that. So, and my final tip today, before you rock any of these items I talked about, make sure to get your fake tan going. And I wanna give special thanks to Monica Blanco of Color Couture for my gorgeous glow today. She has the best self tanners on the market. And you guys know that I've tried them all an amazing airbrush tan in a can and she has an extender lotion to keep your tan looking great days later and now. the kicker ladies no smell no funky smell in fact it actually smells really good so go to colorcouture.com and check it out all right i hope you saw some things today that you haven't tried before because summertime is the perfect time to be a little bit bolder be a little bit more colorful and I want to make sure that you all check in on the Facebook page on a regular basis because we've got some killer giveaways coming up okay Twitter Pinterest follow us there and I wish you all an amazing amazing summer